Honestly, if you're still going around and clicking on Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies videos, you're a real MVP. So today in this video, we're going to be talking about the best ways to finish your camo grind inside of Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. The best covenants, the best perks, the best loadouts to use inside of your game. The Dark Aether grind in this game is so much more daunting than it was inside of Cold War for a camo that definitely does not look better. Why are you bullying me? But what is going to be the best things to have for this grind? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about covenants. Now, I think that Bloodlust is the single best covenant inside of the game right now if you're camo grinding. And that is simple because every time that you punch a zombie and kill it, it still counts as a kill with this weapon. So the 4,000 kills that you need to get your weapon gold will come from you just punching the zombie. Of course, this also works with pack-a-punch kills, so you need 4,000 pack-a-punch kills. Same story here. Once you pack-a-punch and you start punching these zombies, you're going to be getting that as well. Now, obviously, the biggest problem with Bloodlust is it does not help you get headshots. You need 800 headshots to get your gun to gold. So you're going to want to come over to the Covenant and look for something like Dead Accurate. Dead Accurate successive shots on the same enemy deal much more damage. We're going to go ahead and snag that. And then we're going to run over here and grab some more of Diabolical Damage. Obviously, this one does more headshot damage as soon as you're shooting a zombie. And both of these are going to help out a ton when you're trying to kill off the 20 Storm Kriegers that you need to get this weapon gold. Now, another one of the camo challenges that you have is getting successive headshots rapidly. You need to kill three zombies with successive critical kills. Honestly, in my opinion, you're probably just going to finish this without even realizing it. But... I mean, you're just shooting them in the head. Simple stuff. There you go. There's one right there. And again, running something like Diabolical Damage as well as Dead Accurate is going to help out a ton with this. The other one that I think is really, really good for this method is the Covenant that lets you get a bullet back every time that you kill a zombie with a headshot. So let's say, for example, this would really apply more to like shotguns and snipers. But if you're using something that does not have a ton of ammo in its mag, then if you're running something that's going to give you ammo back every time you get a headshot, you're going to be able to do that much easier when you run that Covenant. Now you need 2,000 Covenant kills, and I think the two best ways to get this is A, by running Bloodlust once again, because every time that you punch a zombie, it's going to count as a Covenant kill, and then also Unholy Ground is another really good one, because Unholy Ground, if I just stood here and shot these zombies, it would be counting as kills with Unholy Ground, because Unholy Ground gives you much more damage whenever you shoot zombies while standing still so that counts as a covenant kill cryo freeze and brain rot both work all right for this but they're just much slower i would 100 recommend using bloodlust i think it is easily the fastest way to do it and it helps you out a ton with other things as well now we'll talk about the rapid kills here in just a second because everyone seems to have trouble with the 10 rapid kills that you need 50 different time so we'll talk about that here in just a second but first let's talk about the jackrabbit medals this one honestly is super easy again one of the ones that you'll probably get without even noticing really you just gotta kill zombies without getting hit it's pretty simple the boom shriers make this a little bit more difficult as well as the storm kriegers so if you're more comfortable doing this on an early round i would recommend getting those out of the way first if you're not going to be able to dodge the boom shriers or the storm kriegers now speaking of the boom shriers you need to kill 100 of these and again that seems pretty dark daunting, but it actually gets a lot easier as you run around to these little pockets of zombies all around the map. So whenever you come back to this like main Stalingrad hub, go to each corner and everywhere on the mini map that you just see little hordes of zombies, you'll be able to get probably two or three boom shriers at least in each corner, which is going to help you out a ton on this. And really it just takes a little bit. Actually getting it done doesn't take as long as you might think. It feels like it's going to be a long grind, but they do pop up a lot more often than you would generally expect. Once again, for the 20 Storm Kriegers, really, I would just go with the best way to get damage, maybe Unholy Ground, Dead Accurate, and then as much Diabolical Damage as you can spare just to kill the zombie as fast as possible. The more damage you can do to the Storm Krieger and the faster you can do it is a W. 
if need be. Let's say, for example, you're using a weapon that doesn't have a lot of ammo, so really dead accurate isn't going to work out for you. You can try taking out the Stormkrieger with something like a shotgun, get him as low of health as you can, and then take him out with the gun that you actually need to get the kills with, and that will also count as a kill with that weapon. Now we need to talk about the bane of everybody's existence, and that is the rapid kills inside of zombies, and you need 10 rapid kills 50 times. Now everybody thinks that, oh, I need to round up the zombies and then shoot them as fast as I can. But that's actually not the easiest way to do this. Simply because if you have to reload during any of this, or if you maybe run and miss a zombie or something, you're going to lose on out on that chain. So the easiest way to actually do this is again with bloodlust. What you're going to want to do is round up the zombies as much as you can and then punch them and then punch another one. You don't need to go super fast. As long as it all counts inside of this chain, I got a nuke, which absolutely screws that whole system up, so we'll have to give it another shot. So really, the main goal here is to just round up the zombies as much as you can. So we just started an exfil so we can get a ton of zombies in here at once. We're going to kind of run around and let them catch up a little bit. And as the zombies hoard up, you just want to kind of keep an eye on that minimap and see how many you've got around you. So we got the zombies hoarded up here, and it's always easy to use a decoy as well. So you can go like this, kind of hit a couple of zombies as you go along. And if need be, you can also shoot them. Maybe like you kind of miss a zombie or something, or maybe they're too far apart. But if you just run around and punch them enough, you're going to be getting that. As you can see, killed 10 enemies rapidly. So really, that's all you need to do for this. It does work out a little bit better on higher rounds because you're going to be getting more zombies spawning in. But you can really do this on any round after, maybe like round one or two. And of course, if you are playing with a friend, it's going to work out a lot better because, well, playing solo, you just don't get enough zombies in to really make this effective. So let's try it with shooting really quick just so I can kind of give you guys a base idea of what I mean here. As we shoot into this horde of zombies, you can see we're getting a ton of kills, but a lot of times you're going to have to reload like this before you ever actually get to get that challenge done, which is super, super annoying because you get so close, and it looks like we actually did get it there, which is kind of funny, but especially on like let's say like a sniper rifle or something, when you're trying to kill zombies quickly and it doesn't work because you have to rechamber the sniper rifle, 100% bloodlust is going to be the fastest way to do that. Now hopefully this guide helped you out. You will need to have your weapon level at level 70 to get all of this done. So go ahead and check out this video on the screen now. It'll help you get to level 70 faster than ever before. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. I want to give a big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel and an extra special shout out to all of the zombie Richtoff members starting off with hashtag best mod, strict archer, the quippest man in the southern hemisphere, commander underscore quip, my guy Ben the bulldozer, and the man the myth the legend, Tiz Brandon ZR.